Hey guys, today we're here to guide you through the new legend voyage, Legend of the Veil. Vale. This voyage is available since the latest update from April the 21st. Before you can start this voyage, you'll need to buy it in the Athena hideout from the Pirate Lord. You're only able to buy it when you're a Pirate Legend already. If you're not, you can still complete the Legend Voyage if another Pirate Legend is so kind to let you join in this adventure. Each voyage is made of two different quests. There are three kinds of quests you can have. You can get a quest from Suts that will challenge you to solve a puzzle quest. Or you could get a quest from Bell that will be a sort of battle. Or you can get a shipwreck graveyard quest that can be completed by exploring the shipwrecks. So during this voyage you'll receive two of these three quests randomly. You never know in advance which ones you'll get. The voyage will always finish with the same last quest. That's the Haunted Fort quest. During this quest you'll need to destroy all the forts that will appear on the ship. If you've completed all these three quests during the voyage, you'll receive three Veil Stones that you'll need to put in the mask. When you've done that, the voyage will be completed. Now let's start with the beginning. If you start the voyage on your ship, the Pirate Lord will appear and will start his story. You'll also receive a journal with clues that will lead you to the Veil Stones that you need to put in the mask the Veil of the Ancients on your ship. You need it to complete this legend voyage. The Veil of the Ancients is attached to your ship. So you don't need to worry that you would lose the progress you made if you'd sink. The mask will always be there. But don't forget to keep in mind that you can lose the stones if you didn't put them in the mask already when you would sink. Make sure to put the stone right away in the mask so you won't lose it. Now I'll show you what these different quests are all about. We're going to start with the bell quest. When you have the bell quest, you'll find in your journal that you need to go to the island where Bell is on. Once you've reached the island, you'll need to find Bell. The journal will give you a clue where she is located. Once you've found her, you have to talk to her and the quest will start. You receive the ferryman's lantern. You need that lantern to find the statues that are located on the island and to light the brazier on the ancient statue right behind Bell. Once you've lighted it, the quest will start. When you did, you will see some kind of white light beams in the sky that will show you where the other ancient statues are located. If you light another brazier of one of the statues, the beams will light up in the sky to find the next one. Just keep in mind that the beams aren't visible all the time, so make sure to have a good quick look when they appear. When you've lighted the sixth brazier, a big white ray of light will appear near the center of the island. Go to that spot where you can find the seventh and last ancient statue that you need to light. Once you did, the, the fight will start. But don't worry, the ancients that are around this ancient statue will help you through the fight. Phantoms will appear, which you'll have to defeat. Even a soul flame captain will appear at the end. Once you've defeated that one, you'll receive a veil stone. Athena's fortune treasures will also appear once he's killed. Then get back to your ship and insert the veil stone into the Veil of the Ancients. Another quest you can receive is the Shipwreck Graveyard quest. If the journal you've received is mentioning that you need to go to the Shipwreck Graveyard, you can be sure you have this quest. You can find its location in the journal. So you know what to do. Wind and sails! When you're near the spot, you need to look in the sky for seagulls. They're circling above the shipwreck that you need. To finish this quest, you need to find the key to the captain's cabin of the Grim Fortune shipwreck. You can find the veil stone inside. If you first want to find the ship's log, you first need to go to the Grim 
Fortune's Shipwreck. You can find it in there. If you pick it up, the pages will be added to your journal. It will also tell you in which shipwreck you can find the key you need. Now you need to search the right shipwreck. Each shipwreck has a name that can be found above the captain's cabin. Once you've found the right name, you can search the ship to find the key. Make sure to also open cupboards, open lids and move things. It might be hidden anywhere. We always found the key inside the music box. Not sure if it's always hidden in there, but it might be a good hint. Once you've collected the key, get back to the Grim Fortune shipwreck and open the captain's cabin, where you will find some loot and a treasure chest with the veilstone inside. Get back to your ship and insert the veilstone into the veil of the ancients. And the third quest that you can receive is the Suts quest. If the journal mentions Suts name, it's a Suts quest and you first need to follow the journal to the island where Suts can be found. The journal will also give you a hint where to find the exact location from Suts on the island. There are three different map types, so you will receive one of these three maps during this quest. One of the maps is a map like the X marks the spot quest. The only difference is that the map doesn't show you the whole island, but only a small part of it where the X is located. So you need to check the map in your ship and look which island it might be. If you found it, sail to the island and dig at the spot where the X is marked. You'll find an ancient chest with a veil stone inside. Get back to your ship and put the veil stone into the veil of the ancients on your ship. Another kind of map you can receive is a map with pictures of an island that you need to re recognize. This is the page on the left side. On the page on the right side, you can see a picture of the location where you need to dig. Once you've unraveled which island it is, sail to it and get to the location where you need to dig. It's the same as a previous one, so if you dug up the ancient chest, you'll receive another veil stone. And the last kind of map you could receive is a two-page map with a view from atop the island. There are all kinds of symbols located on the map. At those places you should find the symbols shown on the map. So you could find a rock painting with one of those symbols for example. But one of those symbols isn't on that island. You can check all the places from the symbols on the map and see if they correspond with them. If it doesn't, you found the location where you need to dig. At this place, you'll find the ancient chest with the veil stone in it. So, these were all the kinds of quests that you could receive during this legend voyage. You'll always get two of these three kinds of quests. Once you've finished the two during your voyage, a third quest will start. The third quest is always the same one. It's the Haunted Fort quest. If you've inserted two Veil Stones in the Veil of the Ancients, the pages for the Haunted Fort quest will be added in your journal. If this part got active, you must keep in mind that all pirates can see that this fort is active. It's like a world event that everyone can see, so keep your eyes open. There are three smaller forts around the tornado that's hiding the Haunted Fort. Before you can attack that one, three smaller ones need to be destroyed. These smaller ones are also protected by ghost ships from Flameheart. They keep on spawning so you really need to focus on the forts themselves. You can destroy some of the ghost ships of course for the supply crates they drop or you just can because they annoy you too much. But the main goal is to destroy three smaller forts. You'll have to shoot 5 times on each one. Make sure to shoot on top of it where it's green colored. If you shoot too low, it doesn't count. Once you've destroyed one, you can collect the supply crate that's left on it. Once you've defeated all 3 of them, the tornado will disappear and it will show you the Haunted Fort. To defeat the Haunted Fort, 
you'll need to shoot at the small buildings on the haunted fort itself. It's quite the same as before. You need to shoot at the upper parts to destroy them. Each small building needs three cannonballs to destroy. You can keep on sailing around the fort until you've destroyed each small building on it. Like before, don't pay too much attention to the ghost ships around it. They'll keep on spawning until the haunted fort is defeated and after that they'll all disappear anyway. Once you defeated the haunted fort, some loot can be found at the platform of the fort. It beholds a chest of legends and a chest with the third and last veil stone. When you've collected the loot, go back to your ship and insert the last veil stone in the veil of the ancients. The pirate lord will continue his story and that way the legend voyage will be completed. Oh yeah, one last hit. Make sure to raise your Athena emissary flag before you start the voyage. It's an easy way to get grade 5. So this is our guide to the new legend voyage, Legend of the Veil. Vale. We hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give us a like. If you'd like to see more videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Shiver me timbers. Yarr.